The Magic Millions National Weanling Sale consolidated its position as the number one sale of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere with outstanding results on day one of the 2015 offering. The biggest names in bloodstock converged on the Gold Coast in an attempt to get their hands on some of the best bred youngsters in the country, which all added up to some spirited bidding. It was Medalia Doro who produced the day's top lot, a colt out of Reduce Choice Mare Starfish offered as part of the Woodnook Farm dispersal, who fetched $500,000. He was an exceptional colt, first and foremost, um, by a great stallion who's, you know, making, making great headway here in Australia, you know, the champion two-year-old in Vancouver, and a lot of other, you know, very good performers, and there's an international sire that's working in both hemispheres, so he was a standout for us, and... Um, yeah, pleased to have got him. The Medaglia Doro Colt capped a stellar 10-minute run that saw what at one point were the day's four highest priced lots go through the ring one after the other. Lots 108 and 110, both fillies by Fastnet Rock, went for $220,000 and $280,000 respectively, either side of Sejin Ho Stud paying $300,000 for a Colt by Piero out of dual Group 2 winner Rocha. Loved them, I mean, just probably we, we isolated sort of two horses we wanted to buy, and then he probably made a bit more than we wanted to pay. But um, in this market, you, you know, the good types of the pedigree, and we love Piero, so uh, delighted to have him, and we'll um, hopefully make a few quid out of him next year. Sejano's purchase was part of a strong day for Piero, who also had a cult out of Sorority Girl, realised $240,000. Piero's great rival on the track, All Too Hard, is also making his Magic Millions debut at the sale, and he too produced strong results with four $200,000 plus youngsters. A colt out of indelible sold to Belmont Bloodstock for $210,000, the same price Waterford Bloodstock paid for a colt out of Kakaka Katie. Magic Millions Managing Director Vin Cox was understandably delighted with the numbers up right across the board. Look, it's really been quite spectacular. The, the sale is grossing eight, well, just short of 8.8 .8 million uh, already and it's uh, higher than last year's gross and with 50 less horses being offered. So um, it's really stunning statistics. Our average is sitting at 62,000, which is up 42% on last year and some 72% on the previous year. So staggering statistics. Uh, top price of half a million from Adalia Doro Col, um, out of the Woodnook draft and in fact the Woodnook dispersal provided uh, uh, three of the top, uh, sorry, the top three lots. So uh, it was, we, we're flattered that uh, Bob and Rosemary Scarborough chose us to, to, to handle their dispersal and, and we hope that we did it justice. The first season size are again expected to be prominent throughout day two on Monday, starting with the Piero Colt, who will be up as the first lot of the day at 10 a.m. There is a strong supplementary book to be offered after the catalogue lots, including a Fastnet Rock Colt out of Sweet Sonnet to be offered by Coolmore Stud.